guys, so today I filmed this look for you and it was actually requested from a lovely subscriber so thank you so much for requesting it. Um, this is the look that I wore in my 10 things you didn't know about me video as well as my giveaway winner video and I think it's just a glamorous look. Um, I used a matte red, a really retro color, so I used MAC Ruby Woo and I just did a pretty neutral glamorous uh, smoky eye I guess with big lashes and liner. And of course, bronzer and lots of highlighter. So without further ado, I am just going to jump right into the tutorial. Bye guys! Alright guys, as I am so eloquently pointing out here, I have already applied my eyebrows and my primer. And next I'm going to be taking a light shimmery shadow. This is Virgin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm applying that all over my lid and up into the crease. Next, I'm going to be taking a medium shimmery brown, this is Smog, and I'm kind of elongating um, my eye a little by sort of dragging out from the end of my lash line and dragging up and into the crease, so it kind of gives it more of a uh, elongated V shape. Okay guys, so now we're going in with a black color and this is Creep and we're going to be sort of dragging that towards our, I guess, outer third of our lash line and also sort of putting that in the V. So that's just kind of creating that elongated effect even more. And I just want to say that I know I sound ridiculous right now, but I actually have a really bad cold and I started editing this video a while ago. and. Um, I had some problems with it and I'm just getting back to the voiceover now <laughs> so yeah um, so now I'm putting smog on my lower lash line and I added a little more of the shimmery light color on my top lid as you could see so I went ahead and applied my mascara and curled my lashes off camera and now I'm adding my velour lash lash in the city lashes these are just my favorite because they're so full and gorgeous, but just take any volumizing pair of lashes you can get your hands on, or just add a lot of mascara. Um, and yeah. So now I'm taking eyeliner, and I would have loved to put black, but I seem to have misplaced mine, so I'm just using a black brown. And it's funny, I was talking with my friend Angie the other day about how I thought Ulta products weren't that great. Or actually, the word I used was sucked. <laughs> but I actually really like this liner, so look at me eating my words. And now I'm doing this really creepy thing where I'm tight lining and it looks gross. <laughs> now I'm taking my MAC Nylon eyeshadow and putting that in my inner corners to highlight. And I'm also... I think what I'm taking actually is Foxy and I'm adding that to my brow. So clearly guys, I'm kind of just adding a little bit more of the shimmer color and truthfully I think I did go a bit overboard with it, but what can I do now? <laughs> um, and I'm just touching up right now, so basically a little bit more smog in the crease and a little bit on the lower lash line as you just saw. And I'm kind of just blending that all out a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. And yep, now I'm touching up once more and I'm adding a little bit more of the black just to intensify. And it's foundation time! So I'm just using my L'Oreal True Match. You've seen it in basically every other video of mine. And I'm just evening out my skin tone which really makes the smoky look I think so much better. And I am redefining my brows because I just feel like when you're done with your eyes, that's when you can really tell what your brow kind of needs to look like to complement it. So go ahead and add your concealer and any under eye concealer you want to put. And now I'm going ahead with my Laura Mercier powder and just setting everything. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC Ruby Woo lipstick, which is really super pretty, guys. Although I seriously feel like when the lipstick was sharper, the color was more intense. And don't ask me why that would be, but that is just how I feel. And I feel like that happens a lot with my lipsticks. Like when I first buy them, they look 
incredible and then as I keep using them I feel like it's like they almost get duller but maybe it's just my own theory anyway I love this lipstick regardless so there you go that's how it looks <laughs> and now I'm just gonna clean up the lip line a little bit with some foundation So now I'm going in with Hoola by Benefit and I'm just contouring as usual. And how hilarious is it um, when I said foundation and there was like a D after it? Like you know you're sick when you're saying words that don't have D's after them but you're adding them anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah. So now I'm adding my Clinique um, Uplifting or Uplighting Illuminator. It's got a really long name but I'm just highlighting with it. And I'm going to be adding a powder highlight on top of that just to set everything together. Yep, my smashed, it's so sad, my smashed Dior highlight, <clears throat> Amber Diamond. But it is super gorgeous. 